Hello, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope everybody's doing well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus. That may also resonate. Let's see what's going on with you. We got where you're at now, what's coming towards you, and what you're going to do about it and spirit's advice. Oh, coming into a realization, child of design, and burning it down is spirit's advice. Ooh. Yeah, there's some kind of creati creative project here. You might be like an interior designer or something of that nature I'm getting. And your whole life has been designed the way that you designed it. That's because that's what, what you intend to do about it anyway. Let's see what the joy is all about. That looks wonderful. That's Pisces card. Oops. Dropping everything. Um, so that's a nine. That's a completion. You're having a good old time, ain't you, Taurus? Got the fool and joy. So you're you're having fun, and I don't think you care about much else. All right. Ooh. You may be putting yourself back together after. A realization I'm feeling it's like you came into a realization that you were stuck but here's wish fulfillment and here's a wish being granted so getting unstuck and enjoying your life which is beautiful oh and you're realizing that this page of potions or this page of cups is very immature and somebody's drinking a lot somebody somebody's got a, got a, got a serious drinking issue here I not alcoholism necessary it's just somebody who wants to stay messed up all the time yeah could be working with other people ah <sighs> Seeing through the illusion is what you're about to do, Taurus. You're about to see through the illusion. And it's going to make you panic. Somebody's a liar. You need to heal from this. Whatever it is. This child of design. Like I said, you could be an interior designer or something of that nature. You are creating your life. You are creating your own universe you are creating what's around you do you really want to create this stress anxiety depression all the i feel like gossip and spying here on 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 lies and deception so i feel like Either you or someone else is the child of design here, where they are creating their universe. And then you've got all these other people around you that are lying to you, that are stressing you the hell out. I mean, stressing you out. Look at these cards. This is lies. Maybe you're believing gossip and lies and it's stressing you out I do believe that's that's what that is so stay in that eight of swords rather than go back to the seven or page of swords somebody's spying here heavily and it's stressing them out big time they're a liar they're a liar it's as simple as that And they're running their mouth. 
they're walking around. I feel like somebody's just, you know what she did, you know, he did, you know, and it's all lies. Every bit of it is a bunch of lies. Ten of swords, burn it down. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Death. I don't feel like that's an actual death. I feel like that's a metaphor for what you need to do with this situation according to spirit. Make the judgment to end the backstabbing. End the betrayal. Make that judgment to be honest and tell the truth. I don't know if this is you or the other person, but Spirit's advice is to burn it down. Burn it down. Burn down whatever it is that's keeping you in this Eight of Swords energy because they're a liar. I can't say it any plainer than that. And they're trying to get you stuck in the lie with them. I don't know why I heard that either. They're trying to get you caught up in this illusion so you don't realize what's truly going on here. And I do believe there are at least three people involved. At least three, maybe more. But it's somebody who's spreading rumors, gossip, and lies about the other. Or about a couple of people. I mean, this, this could be a group of people. Because we got 7-7. Seven, seven, which is actually a very lucky number. But in this case, I'm not thinking it's not it's not lucky. Unless you uh, believe the lies. I mean, that's, that's entirely up to you. Yeah, there's competition. There's that Ten of Swords again. From an immature person. This person is like, whoever you're dealing with is like a child, an adult child. And they're very, very competitive, very competitive. And while you, while I feel like you ever seen those memes where somebody is like hugging them and in the other hand they have a knife and they're stabbing them in the back. Well, that's what I feel like with this card, right? these cards right here. You're my friend, I love you. <clears throat> that's, that's what I feel like with those cards. I love you so much, I'm gonna stab you in the back. Because I have competition, in, or I'm in competition with you. That's very, very immature, whoever that person is. And, and it's time for it to be over. It's time for you to burn it down. All right, Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, and Page of Pentacles, what's coming at you? Could be a love interest. So we got the Page of, page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles here. Whatever this lie is, you're, I think you're realizing it that this person is drunk or that this, this person parties too much and they feel the world full of illusions. So they don't, what you're looking at is not real. And you're going to get a message about how it stuck you with the bill. That's how I, I don't know why I'm saying that. They're just trying to stick you with the bill. They don't care about you. Whoever this is, this is a third person, not this, not this drunk person, but this is a third person. And either you or them are going to send a message very soon. It's going to leave you going, huh? Huh? You did what? You lied about what? Yeah, Page of Pentacles is monetary gain. So somebody had something to gain financially through this backstabbing energy and this is a, the, the truth is what's coming at you and you're gonna feel very very betrayed let's see how to get you out of it yeah somebody used you big time 
Maybe several people used you for your stability, for your groundedness. Because Tauruses are always grounded. But there's somebody here who, who's gossiping, lying, spying. And I think you're gonna you're gonna burn it down, Taurus. Literally. Um, let's see what the spirit has to say about this one. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we started with the fool, we ended with the fool, and we're juggling at the end with the all-around energy. You missed an opportunity, or somebody missed an opportunity here with the King of Pentacles. Okay, something from the past, a brand new start. Somebody's going to miss it if they don't make the right judgment call here. You're going to miss the stability. You're going to miss this... King of Pentacles, the person that is, this, like I said, it could be you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But it's from your past. It's not from the now. This is, this is the now and the future. This is past life. This is childhood. This is karma, or, you know, karma coming back to bite you, basically. Stay in your King of Pentacles energy and take that brand new start. Whatever this brand new start is, that, that has you stuck and not knowing where to go, trying to figure out what to do next, you're going to understand that these people have been lying to you the whole time. Whoever these people are, they're lying to you about a king of pentacles. So you could be dealing with another, uh, another earth sign. This could be somebody who's just a friend. They don't have to be a lover. And they're going around spreading rumors about someone. And the rumors just are not true. And you need to see that. Or someone needs to see that. And let it be over. Because it, it's, it's keeping you in conflict. Conflict. I <laughs> conflict. I don't edit my videos, guys. I speak the best I can. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. The sun. The sun come out tomorrow. The balance. Oh, yeah. Good advice. For summer. Being distracted. Being distracted. And failing to see a magical opportunity. Taking someone or something for granted. And discontented with life. Four of summer. Okay, the sun. This is, this is. This says plans will work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that leads to rewards and commendations. Gratitude for the blessings of life. Okay, so this is what you need to see because there is an opportunity presenting itself to you, Taurus. Are you going to take the backstabbing, the competition, the lying, the cheating, the stealing, the gossiping, and the stress? Because the sun is right in front of you. Could be dealing with a Leo. Whatever this idea that you have in this child of design, creative child of design, it's going to work out perfectly. You need to stop putting your energy into other things, other people, other situations, because that gets you nothing. It gets you illusions. It gets you lies. It gets you gossip. They can't help themselves, whoever they are. I don't know who this person is, but they can't help themselves. And we have the moon. What is hidden in this situation? Powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, 
understanding the truth of the situation. So spirit, you know, is telling you, you really need to understand the truth of this situation and go behind that door and figure out what's real and what's not real and use your intuition to guide you. Honorable, devoted, mature, and warm-hearted. Wow. This is the person that's being talked about. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. So like I said, I'm feeling interior design here. I don't know why. That could only be for a few of you. But there's a romantic partner here that you can trust among amongst all these other people that, that'll back you up with your creative endeavors. You got to see through the bullshit, though, Taurus. You got to see through this bullshit because one, one decision, one free will decision can change the outcome of this entire thing. Okay? Balance is spirit's advice. Take, take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. So, listen to what everybody's got to say, but merge, the, what, what I'm feeling here is merge the viewpoints and see if they line up or not. If they don't line up, one goes over top of the other one, the other one goes up, then it's not real. It's a lie. It's an illusion. It's, if they line up perfectly and bam, they meet in the middle. That's balance. That's where you can see everything from a higher perspective. Okay. Whatever this past thing was that was here for you, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss the opportunity if you don't find the sun. Find what makes you happy. Because all this lying and gossiping and, and whatever it is that's going on with you, is what needs to be burned down. That needs to go away. Because somebody, somebody's going to betray you in the end. They may even, and, and with, with judgment here, and they may even take you to court. Or you may take them to court. Just saying. I don't know why I said that. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying until the end of the reading. <laughs> so... But you need to find balance, and that's what Spirit's advice is. Use your intuitive epiphanies. Let go of worry and fear about what everybody else is going to say, about what everybody else is going to do. And understand the truth of this situation. That it's an opportunity. Okay? It's an opportunity. You're going to get a message about this really soon. I'd say within the next eight days. And you'll know what I'm talking about. Are you going to hold on to what no longer serves you? Or are you going to move into that Ace of Pentacles, which is a new beginning in finances? Lady of Lightning in reverse. Wow, that's a challenger. Surprises, sometimes shock, and total paradigm shift. Okay. Let's find this. I don't think I've ever gotten this one in reverse before. Let me read it though. Find out what it says. Okay. This says, as a challenger. Unpleasant news, an unexpected shock, or an overall sense of powerlessness are the aspects you may experience when the Lady of Lightning appears as your challenger. This is a time when you may be forced to make a change you don't want to make. A situation may suddenly turn into a different direction than you'd hoped it would. This is a sign of difficulty and unwanted surprises. But consider the idea of, thun of a thunderstorm and how beautiful and charged with electricity the world is after it passes. It will always pass. 
because the nature of because it's the nature of the storm your difficulties will too as that is the way of things as well in the realm of the lady of lightning it's prudent to engage the, the, the law of non-resistance or the law of detachment relax and wait out the storm in the shelter of your faith and goodwill trusting that all will be even will be well even if it doesn't seem like it in the moment wonderful new life has an opportunity to grow and when the storm passes the lady of lightning would much prefer to be your ally anyway all right whoever this person that you're messing with or they're messing with because I do feel like there's many people here that spread these rumors and gossip and lies you're about to get a wake-up call whoever that is cross watcher whoever that is you're about to get a wake-up call that this is really the Sun and not a betrayal depending on who you are depending on which person that you're dealing with because there is true love here a romantic partner you can trust someone you can trust all right whoever this person is that you can trust is the one about to give you a shocker all right maybe you thought you could trust them but as i said before what I, what i'm feeling here is that you need to burn down all this energy all this unwanted ugh. it's just ugh. sorry Taurus but that's <clears throat> I'm trying to help you find balance so you can see the Sun all right you your hopes and wishes are gonna depend on this okay maybe you need to look into some kind of creative project because you are designing your world. How do you want that to look? Okay. Well, that's all I have for you this time. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, please like, subscribe. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.